Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, today's video is part of the annual Halloween collab hosted by Donna from It's Art by Donna. Please check out all the participating channels in the description below. Huge, huge thanks to Donna for organizing this and for being such a blessing and pillar of support for our YouTube creative community. Don't forget to check out her channel and drop her a like and subscribe. Before me is Julie and Lucy from The Brit Girls and after me is Dave from Chuckle Dave which is a fantastic artist and I'm honestly not looking forward to go before or after him. So, this painting might be a little risky but I'm also a tad rebellious and I thought to myself what could be scarier than going into a haunted public toilet, watching a horror movie and going to an empty washroom letting your imagination run wild. The Halloween I grew up with is all fun and games. We dress up, trick or treat, bought for apples, visit pumpkin patches and embrace the season of fall. Where else the Halloween my parents grew up with, the Chinese Halloween, known as the Ghost Festival, is a little more on the spooky side. It is believed that ghosts and spirits, including those of diseased ancestors, come out from the lower realm and roam the earth during this month. There are a few superstitious unspoken rules to follow by, such as to avoid late nights, and to never wear red during this period. The color red can evoke thoughts of blood and death, potentially drawing spirits associated with violent or harmful situations. Or it is told that if someone commits suicide wearing red, they will return as a vengeful spirit. We hear a lot of stories about haunted restrooms, spooky reflections in the mirrors, and chilling encounters in the empty stalls. But why are ghosts so attracted to restrooms, and especially dirty ones? I've done a bit of serial googling and it is thought that these entities, especially the evil ones, are attracted to filth. The rationale behind it would be that the dirtier ones are less maintained ones, which would mean less people using them as well, and that is the recipe for a haunted toilet. So for this painting, I thought I wanted it to be a little cheeky, but still be able to capture the essence of Halloween. I think that the ladies should be able to relate to the vulnerable predicament of the character in this piece. Personally, I can't decide which is more terrifying, a haunted toilet, a filthy toilet, or the last toilet roll that fell on a dirty floor. Anyway, I hope you like this painting. Make sure to check out all the other participating channels. Hands, without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> 